Hi, good morning. My name is Kate. As you can hear the birds in the background and um, today you and I will be talking about the audible review of Icebreaker. So I'm gonna write it down. I wrote down my thoughts that you did not ask while I was reading this one because it's very long. It's like 13 hours and the audible said a novel. I'm like a novel for 13 hours almost 14 hours. Are you kidding me? But anyways, you and I will be talking about it. You already know it has a spoiler, so buckle up because this is a long one. Very long. Before I read this, there was a lot of hype on TikTok. So I was like, ooh, Nathan Hawkins, he seems like a daddy. So I went, go ahead to Goodreads, and oh my god, there are many one stars. But I was like, ooh, it's daddy, Nate Hawkins. I'm still gonna review. Yeah, I slept at. I actually reread this and I slept it at around 11 p.m. last night and woke up at 6:30 just to finish it and then I took a bath and now I'm going to review it. Fresh. Wait. Now I'm going to start. Icebreaker review. Icebreaker by Hannah Grace Audible book review with spoilers. Characters: Anastasia Allen, Nathan Hawkins. Published August 23, 2022 by Pig and Bear Publishing Great Space Independent Publishing Platform. Genre, sport romance, college romance. Audible voices narrated by Elizabeth Louis and Tim Page. Here we go. The vo this is now the feedback or the observation on the Audible itself alone. The voices were good. I approve. I'm so in love with Nate, Nate Hawkins' voice and character. I love Nate's voice during Anastasia's POV. Like, you know, when Grace, the Grace person is speaking and then there was a some in, insert of Nathan Hawkins. Ooh. I will never read Hannah Grace's book anymore. <laughs> yeah. I thought, like, the one... The, with one star in Goodreads were just like, ah, maybe they're not having a good day. But when I read it, and then I reread it again, I was like, yup. Someone even said, this is like the baby of of campus series. And I was like, hmm, true. This is an enemies to lovers trope. This will be split into... Um, my thoughts, the swoon, the favorite, not favorite, dislike, like, and then the ratings. Let me start with spice because I know you don't want to view my YouTube for too long or you only hear for spice chapter. So here we go. I'm going to drop the spice chapter immediately. Chapter 3, 10, 13, there's a semi spice on 14, 15, 17, my favorite, chapter 18. 20, 21, 31, another favorite. I'm not saying immediately jump to top 31, but 34, 38, 42, 49. Now, here are my thoughts. Like I said, this is a long one. Buckle up. JJ was funny, but not a fan of how he and Hannah was pulling around and making fun of Nate. Why would you do that? I think there was like the... <laughs> Um, the author wanted to be like something dark yet cute, but it's not. The name of their group chat is Pak Bunny. Like, you know, this is a, a hockey sport, so Pak Bunny. I'm not sure, yeah, with the relationship of Henry and Anastasia, like, you know, being friends and telling I love you and stuff. Maybe it's a culture thing, but I was in the Philippines and... Men and women cannot be friends, especially saying I love you, especially if they are with their best friends, is their boyfriend. It's complicated, but yeah. Other than Nate, everything else is problematic, overdramatic, and annoying. Like literally. Aaron is so toxic and infuriating. He and Anastasia are both toxic and they are meant for each other. Lola is weird, but I love her. I love her and Robbie. Robbie is so precious. I never wanted to DNF a book so bad until this one. I've been reading books for many years, and this is the number one DNF for me, but I kind of live with the hype of TikTok, 
overhype bandwagon jumper that I am. Yeah, when I say I really love the character of Nate Hawkins, I push through it. Although many are telling me GNF on good reason. Just for Nate. Nate is the best in this book. He takes care of his team, Robbie, Henry, and the rest of everyone, even Anastasia and her parents and their issues and their problems and everything else. Nate is so kind and gentleman. As you can see, Nate is my favorite. He even takes care of Anastasia in her injury and practices. Like he literally practiced with her. I hate everything about Anastasia and Aaron. God! <laughs> I finished it. <laughs> As a Gemini, with all due respect, Anastasia is a Virgo sun rising. I'm not gonna mention the Cancer Moon because I love Cancers. Like, yeah, Cancers are literally like my favorite of all the zodiac signs. I don't know why. What could be more annoying? Yes! Tell me why. What could be more annoying than Nadan giving her a gift and her video FaceTiming her, opening the gift right next to Aero? No, not next to Ryan. Half naked. I'm like, oh my god, that's how martyr, gentleman, and romantic Nate Hawkins is. He's so dumb, but I love him. It's unbearable how she was the one who always make the first move to Nate, and she always go to parties without underwear. I leave it there. She's such an immature, and I'm talking about this, she's such an immature, toxic, and annoying. Yeah, toxic is. Hello, welcome to Latin America. She she's so immature for going immediately into the hockey practice. So basically, the, she's a ice skating princess and the, the hockey team, they share a um, ring together to practice. And when the hockey team over uh, over time, she immediately jumped, although it's dangerous. It's like pathetic, like, can't you wait? I, I know you're frustrated, but it's literally dangerous. And she just jumped in the middle of hockey practice just to get the ring and just to ask them to leave, which is, yeah. One review in Goodreads said, this is the most toxic and annoying first lady, uh, leading lady, and I kinda agree. Not kinda, I completely agree. She's like the most toxic female lead that I've read so far. <laughs> and now I remember again, one of the Goodreads said, I want to burn every character in this book. And I agree, I actually liked this, her comment. Nathan is so calm while being furious during Halloween. They kiss in the car for 20 minutes and I was zooming. She called Nathan stuff. Stuff. Oh my god, what could be worse than that? His team, the ice hockey team, is amazing except JJ. Nate has been through a lot because of her. She is toxic and even suspended from games. That's plural because of her i cannot she is so dramatic i cannot it's unbelievable when she was mad at nate for correcting her food plan like she's such a narrow-minded girl that nate who also um career is focused on science and she still get mad at nate girl get a grip you have no idea how i speed her voice and skip chapter because of her this is a rare re re read, so when I already know what's about to, I either speed up into two, two X, an audible, or I, I completely um, skip the chapter. I'm so tired of her and Aaron drama. I wanted to rip their character said. Yeah, it's very infuriating. Like every chapter, it's dragging you for so long with so much drama and fighting. I actually read this book because I thought it's a good rom-com, happy feeling, because that's what TikTok is saying, although Goodread is saying something else because I was thinking Goodread readers are just having, like, you know, not a bad, no, not a bad feeling. No, I don't know, I cannot explain, but yeah, I should have listened to Goodreads more. 
There's too much drama. She fell in a lake and nearly died. Her meeting with his dad, Nate dad. Her fighting again with Nate over Aaron. Her getting drunk. They have sports therapy with her partner, which is Aaron. They're fighting during practice. Her ice skating partner kissing. And her getting pregnant before marriage. Oh my god. This is now the swoon season. So swoon, like swoon worthy um, scenario where it made me push through despite of all the negative things that is going on in the story. When she said, I'll give you a map of the pleasure point. When he said he doesn't joke about consent. Oh my god, like for real. Anastasia was drunk, yet Nate Hawkins, Daddy Nate, still asked her of consent. And he said, I take consent seriously. When he carried her after dropping and Nathan take care of her. When Nate said, shut up, you're not even half of my warm, warm up weight in chapter 12. When he winks at her, <laughs> oh my god, I'm swooning. Nate doesn't know how to dance yet. She's he still asks Anastasia to dance in the dark. And and guess this, guess this. She took Nate into the dark place of the bar so they can grind to each other. Her doing the first move. The first dance was, oh my god, they are grinding and all. The Uber ride at the back. <laughs> this is another hype that I got on TikTok. You need to read this. The Uber hype at the back. When he confessed to her his jealousy, tell me to stop when I'm too rough. <laughs> when Nate said, because I could never hate you. And then, Nate said, you'll take it like a good girl, won't you? <laughs> and then he said, I want you again. <laughs> when Nate was defending Anastasia to Ice Princess, Ice Princess is what Lola calls Aaron, her ice skating partner. I love his calmness and care. When he told Anastasia not to wear other players' jersey, like he was a man cave and obsessed, he told Anastasia, wear only my my um, jersey and his punishment to her after that. That was spice, 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 spice. She couldn't even walk after that. When he washed his hair, when Nate offered to be her practice partner, when Nate corrected her nutrition meal plan, when he got drunk, went down the stairs in his boxer in a party looking for her. <laughs> when Henry confirmed she is in love with Nate during pancake session, when he when the only thing that Nate Hawkins wants for Christmas is her. Her. Chapter 31, I'm speechless. I'm speechless. He said, you're worth defending Anastasia. And then he said, our kids will be adorable. When, I, I, I got this from TikTok. When they are on the way for holiday vacation and she was reading a smooth book and he said, whatever you're reading, I will do it to you when we get home. When he prioritized her competition over his, I'm like, oh my God. Now here's the funny part. Funny sections of the audible. Nathan's welcoming to the book and his mystery guest Kitty Vincent. Well, and then when Robbie, his best friend, said, What happened here, little hoe? <laughs> 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 
Nate's pil uh, pillow screaming session. JJ, the one that I didn't like in the character, which completely makes sense because he's a Scorpio, Sun, Rising, and Moon. Scorpio, through and through. When she said, the only time I see a grown man on his knees is between her legs. When Ryan said, you should do him for science. For science. When JJ mentioned his constitutional right over eating a donut. A donut! The text group in chapter 12 was icing. Like, I'm not saying you should go to chapter 12 when you already feel like the book is dragging you, but chapter 12, the group chat is amazing. Lowe's text joke over Nate and Anastasia's kitty cat. Poor Henry when Nate entered his room to get something from the bathroom. Nate doesn't know how the conditioner works. When Nate realized that Ryan is actually a good man because he was pushing Anastasia to do him for science. When he suddenly jumped on bed and said, I'm waiting for you to move so I can eat your... Chapter 21. Chapter 21. Period! When they have to buy leggings and then he has to wear it for their practice. <laughs> Leotard. When they told her, you eat 20 chicken nuggets in 4 minutes like you are competing with someone else but you are only competing with yourself. Here we go with the favorite section of audibles icebreaker nate nutrition meal plan when nate apologized and covered for his teammates when nate did the extra amount to practice with anastasia when nate carried anastasia after being injured during practice and giving her first aid kit when nate watched her practice for the first time when summer and Nate gave Anastasia a medicine, a taste of her own medicine. How hate, uh, how hate, how Nate take care of her getting drunk after treating him like a garbage after Aaron incident. Like Nate really went extra mile to take care of her despite how she was treating her, which is sad. But Nate is a good man. Not favorite in Audible. How she used Ryan code to Nate code and then said it was Ryan's. Can you imagine that? You took a girl in your room with a code, lock code, and then she used a guy's, another guy's lock code. And then she told you, oh, that was Ryan's lock code. Bye. How dumb it is for Aaron to lie over Nate and then she believed in Aaron over Nate. Uh, excuse me. When Aaron lied about Anastasia being heavy, yet Nate saw him lifting weights in the gym, double Anastasia's weight. Like, that's infuriating. This is now my likes. Not favorite, but I liked it. Not soon worthy, but I liked it. On the audible of Icebreaker. Nathan Hawkins, a great captain to Henry, Ross, and how he treats Anastasia. Ryan, because he's a good man, he take care of Anastasia. He fought with Aaron over Anastasia's meal plan. He's a good man. He take care of her and all that stuff before Nathan Hawkins in the scenario. I love how Nate always defend Anastasia. I love how Robbie is such a good friend to Nate and a man to Lola. When finally Henry educated Anastasia on moaning over chicken. I feel like secondhand embarrassment for this one, but I love how Henry educated because Anastasia was eating chicken moaning in front of the hockey team and Henry told her to stop doing that. I like that. Thank you, Henry. Here we go with the dislike. Actually, this is a long one with the dislike. Look, can you see that? Hmm. 
Stash naive and frustrating character. Anastasia's nickname is Stash. Anastasia's skating coach, which is Aubrey. Aaron Carlisle, Anastasia's partner. Manipulative, disgusting, evil, obsessed human. I wrote that down. She's sleeping with both the captain of the basketball and hockey team. Talk about girl, get a grip. So when the Goodread review said she wants to burn all the characters, I feel in her every bone. I don't know if that English sentence is correct, but yeah. I hate Nate's dad. How Aaron spread negative things, slut shaming her in both UCLA and in their university. How JJ and Anastasia flirt and make fun to hate uh to make Nathan mad or just to like annoy him when she slept at Henry's room like can you imagine you have you like a guy and she frustrates you or unintentionally rejected you and you slip into his best friend's room into their common uh into their apartment like what when she made fun of him with the 12 midnight game with his ice hockey team that's that's below the belt every time he sp speaks to aaron every time basically that there's an aaron scenario in the book it's infuriating when she made fun of nate using or wearing jj's um jersey when Nate had a migraine attack because of her. The fact that she did not trust Nate when she trusted Aaron over Nate. When Nate take ownership of the issue got suspended yet Anastasia still treats him like garbage. When Aaron let Nate go into Anastasia's room knowing damn well that the other guy, Ryan, is in her room comforting her when she joke of Ross being in a relationship while Nate is watching like she calls her boyfriend's other teammates muffin in a very flirty relationship way when she got drunk and played twisted and her butt is on Henry's face yet she still making fun of it how can you treat your man like that in front of a party crowd chapter 23 chapter 33 is another unbearable drama she is the most toxic character of all the most toxic character she was over dramatic over henry compared to nate she was flirting with henry in front of nate during their morning session morning conversation it's unbearable how she cried over everything everything oh my god henry being dramatic when she dropped on the lake when she accidentally like sleep on the lake and nearly die i mean dude you are her friends maybe it's me i haven't had that kind of friends but she said i can't get over it anastasia i'm like get over it she's so naive to aaron she keep fighting nate about it and then she still moves to their apartment mm, so over it when she got drunk and was flirting with ross when she saw oh my god when nate saw her being kissed by aaron in front of the crowd now the final touch starry rating one star if there's zero star there will be zero star but the one star is for nate hawkins only everyone else with all due respect i know many of you love this i know many of you hype this but this is me this is my thoughts and my 88 personalities thoughts i honestly give this story why is the bird why are the birds interrupting me welcome to costa rica that's how our morning looks like everything birds 
and sunny, like you can see. <sighs> Story rating, one star. That's only for Nate Hawkins. Spice rating is four. There's too many spies in this. Actually, that's one of the reasons why I push through. If you do not like the story, just go through for Nate Hawkins and for the spices. But I do not recommend this book. Fine now. I don't recommend this toxic, infuriating, awful book. The leading lady was toxic. She doesn't deserve Nate. I couldn't stand to reread again for the third time. And not happy how the book, uh, book talk recommend is. It's overhyped. It's overhyped for me. Don't come for me. Well, if you come for me, it's okay. I perfectly understand what you're going through. But I don't think I'm alone when I say this is a one-star book. This is overhyped. And this is a failed book talk recommendation. If you do not believe me, just go ahead at Goodreads. There's many one-star review, but I do not recommend this. However, I recommend... Um, if you already have this on your audible just skip through the chapters of the spices or just listen to Nate Hawkins perspective or just spit it up I actually made a mistake of not weighing down between Goodreads and book talk high over hype I should have listened to book Goodreads more to all the one star in Goodreads I'm so sorry if I did not listen to you you are right I am wrong I will never do this again I will never read of this author again because it was too chaotic problematic and I agree with you I want to burn all characters except Nate Hawkins because he's a good man and that will be all thank you for listening to this um, excuse me very long chaotic problematic dragging book review please like and subscribe or comment below if you still want to read this have a wonderful day pura vida bye bye